Hello, I'm Judy Stiles. Thank you for joining us this week on Newsmakers. Well, Joplin recently hosted a program with focused on the challenges of poverty and had a simulation here in the city for community leaders. But this is something that's a year-round concern. And today we're focusing on a program called Circles. Joining me, Teddy Steen and Scott Voorhees, thank you very much for being here today. Thank you for having us. And you're with the Circles program. And uh, people in the community probably have heard a little bit about it, but mm -hmm. how do you define it? If somebody walks up to you and says, Teddy, you're the director of Circles, what is this? Well, now I define it as a program that is for people that are in poverty, but they are trying their best to get out of poverty. Mm -hmm. We offer social capital is what we're trying to build through relationships and financial sustainability. So that's kind of what it is. It's not really a poverty program, so to speak, that everybody is going to get out of poverty. We, we pick them. So it's a targeted yes, program. Yes, it's a targeted program. Scott to might be able and to. And Scott, you are on a board member and a facilitator for the program. So this is something that really you have a precise program up in place that how it's developed and put together for you. Right. Circles Joplin is part of a national program. It's in about 80 different cities across the nation. Mm -hmm. And there's a structured curriculum for each phase of the process. And that's really probably what I'd like to get across is First of all, it's United Way Initiative here in Joplin. Right. They're our fiscal agent, and they've sponsored Circles to come to Joplin. But what we're doing is we're putting to work a proven model to help people who are ready, willing, and able to move themselves out of poverty. And we're just putting them with other people in the community who can help get them there. Hmm. So that big first step is for someone to say, yes. I want to change things. Yes. Right. And move Absolutely. it from there. Well, we use the term poverty, and some people might be curious, you know, how do you define poverty? Is there a government description? You know, what is it when people say the poverty level? <laughs> there is a government description, and that is strictly financial. Okay. It's the Federal Poverty Guideline, which hasn't changed much since the 60s, they say. Mm -hmm. So what we define poverty, there's a lot more to poverty than just a financial situation. It's more than just how much money you make. It's relational poverty. It is educational poverty. There's all different kinds of poverty, and we address all the different types right. of poverty with circles. They all come together. They all into this come together, program. yes. Right. Now, Jasper County, the Joplin area, I know you recently had this program working with other agencies showing the impact of poverty. And people may not realize how common the program is in our community, or the po problem of poverty is different. <laughs> Yeah, there are a lot of people in our community who are well aware that there's a lot of poverty because they live in it every day and we mm -hmm. see it. Uh, what we try and do with the poverty simulation just recently was to put a face on that and get some people in the community who don't face it daily to walk uh, even for just half a day in the shoes of people who live in poverty to see what it's like. And it's amazing some of the reactions that we got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So really what are some everyday things that we might take for granted that someone who's you know facing that such challenge might deal with? Most of us uh, getting to work and back. Oh, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes transportation is a huge issue. Sometimes in poverty, um, having somebody to turn to when you need something. That we all have kind of a social network right. and relationships. That if I need something, I know who I can ask. That's part of poverty is a huge amount of isolation. Absolutely. And that and that. An, an inability to step out and ask for help mm -hmm. in certain areas. I've got somebody that I, if I, if I was hungry, I'd know where to go. I, I know where resources are. So I know where people are. So relationships, relationships being a big part is a supporting huge, that. Right. huge issue. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, absolutely. And to me, that's what Circles is about. Is mm -hmm. I'm probably the worst person to talk about the Circles poverty aspect because mm -hmm. I tell every person who applies for Circles and every phase of the Circles program is. I don't really care about the money. Okay, yes, it's an anti-poverty campaign, and mm -hmm. the data looks really impressive because yeah. the people who go through the program, they reduce their dependency on charity, they reduce their dependency on government, on government aid, they increase their income, they increase their education. So all of that stuff looks great and it's mm -hmm. wonderful, but I don't care about that stuff. What I care about is they now have better relationships with people around them. They're connected to their community. They're giving back in some way. They're getting their kids reunited with them after they've been removed from DFS. They're no longer involved in any criminal activity. And once you learn how to make long-term decisions that are positive decisions in your life and stick with it, and you learn how to build and nurture and sustain relationships, 
the money's going to come. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if you can't make good decisions long term and you can't build good relationships, I don't care how much money you have, you're not going to be able to keep it. So those are hurdles that people have a hard exactly. time overcoming. Right. And we've heard numerous stories of how people have grown up in financial poverty, but they never felt like they were in poverty. Mm -hmm. And then you look at the other side of it where they made plenty of money, but they still had that mindset of poverty. Right. So they never mm -hmm. had enough. They mm -hmm. felt like they were in poverty, but they made quite a bit more money than this family over here whose children never felt like they were in poverty. So, so the finally, exactly what he said, there's a lot of different types of poverty. Now, like he says, it is about relationships, but just like with us, I always tell people, okay, let me give you an example. Everybody in circles has Scott Voorhees' cell phone number. That's I mean, mm -hmm. they have an attorney right at their disposal, oh, cool. and they can call him at any time, day or night. Now, that's social capital, mm -hmm. and that's something I didn't have till I came to Circles, <laughs> right? <laughs> I discouraged the nighttime calls. <laughs> but, <laughs> but those contacts. But you know what? He'd take them. And, that's right. And, and we bring, those are the kind of people that they're getting, right. that they are getting acquainted with, and mm -hmm. what that does to their self-esteem is absolutely amazing. You watch them blossom, don't right. you? You watch them blossom in that. Just do they feel that sometimes it's just somebody cares about me? Is that yeah. one of the aspects you well, feel from it, people? It's not only cares about me because I think a lot of times, and we have a lot of great-hearted people in the community, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I've been involved in giving back to the community. But there's a whole different thing about caring about you mm -hmm. and walking alongside you. With yes. you. Okay. okay, I can care about you all day long, mm -hmm. um, but I'm not going to sit next to you while your kids waiting to get into the emergency room. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. it's actually being there with you through your daily struggle and helping you to really make it through your life daily that circles is different than caring about somebody. Okay. And so it, we probably ought to talk about kind of the overview of the program. Yes. The overall support system, how are you yeah. putting this type of system in place? Um, the first part is really the, the educational part, and that's where the facilitator label gets assigned to me is okay. because that's where we're taking people who've shown the initiative, I want to change my own life, okay, mm -hmm. and I'm ready to make a commitment to learn how to do that better. And so that's the part that's really educational. And so I like that part because I like to teach some. And what we do is we have group discussions and we have guest speakers come in and, and I help facilitate people who explore what their challenges are in their life. And so that's where we talk about budgeting. We talk okay. about long-term planning. We talk about how to develop smart goals with specific steps to, to change where you are in your life and give them the needed educational tools. And that's a 20-week process. Wow. Okay. okay. So for 20 weeks, they basically come participate, much like coming here to Southern with a classroom. They're committed okay. to yes. being there right. at a certain Absolutely. place at a certain time. Right. 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 And then I tell them, that's the easy part. Mm -hmm. Okay, the 20, the 20 weeks is the easy part. Yes. After that, then we have kind of an orientation getting together with potential allies. These are people in the community, just like you and me, just mm -hmm. like our people who are watching, who say, hey, if there's somebody who wants to change their life and is willing to put forth the effort, I'll walk alongside them for a period of time. So, they and so work they're the allies. Mm -hmm. They're the, the army who's walking next to you. Okay. Those people commit for 18 months, along with the circle leaders, mm -hmm. we're going to be together for 18 months. Okay, That's where the change happens. And so if Teddy were a circle leader, somebody who's completed the training portion with me, right. then she'd be matched with somebody like you who mm -hmm. would be her ally. Okay. For the next 18 months, you would continue to come to circles and participate, and Teddy would establish her own goals for life, what she wants to prove in her life. She would rely on you and reach out to you and say, hey, what do you think about this? Is this something that, that makes okay. sense? And hopefully you've had successes in your life mm -hmm. and you can say, yeah, I think I've tried that and it didn't work so well. So let's, let's think about another way. But most of it is you become friends. You become somebody to be there as an ally, not a mentor, not a sponsor, not somebody who's going to say, hey, how are you doing down there? You're this is a peer. Together. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. And what's amazing to me is everybody is working together to improve their own lives. And I tell everybody, the reason I'm involved mm -hmm. is because it makes me a better person. So you're getting yeah. something out oh, of the program. Oh, absolutely. I get more out of it than I get every day. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. For sure. And another thing is the change in philosophy. And people have a hard time mm -hmm. with this because mm -hmm. our participants are our leaders. Okay. They are not, Scott's not a leader, right. our participants who are going through this program because it is their job to lead themselves out of poverty. We call them allies, not mentors, because the people that come in do not have to have ever experienced poverty, because that's not the point. The point is 
they uh, they watch them and they become friends and it's mm -hmm. even better sometimes if oh. they've never been in poverty mm -hmm. because they teach one another about the different the way that different classes think about something right. and Ruby Payne has said that you cannot move from one class to the other without beginning to think like the class that you want to move to and so that's what it's about so people say now the leader and they'll start talking about the ally I said no wait a minute the participant is the leader and that's kind of a paradigm shift mm -hmm. and and but that that's empowering so it's really so it's focusing empowering. on that person who's yes. benefiting from the program absolutely from the program so. and what they get out of the program is what they put into it yes. and, and to me that's the difference is um, Whenever I talk to people about circles, I talk about the things that we've tried in the past that don't work. Okay, mm -hmm. um, we have people who have issues in their life, whether it's drug addiction or relationship problems or past abuse or whatever it is, um, felony records. Let's throw money at it. Okay, let's just give you money because we know that works. You can have well, money, you'll be happy. <laughs> we know that doesn't work. Okay, yeah. we know throwing money at the problem doesn't doesn't help at all. What we need to do is we need to change the mentality. Okay, mm -hmm. both of the people who've experienced that and the people who interact with them. And yes. so one of the things we talk about is victim language, is mm -hmm. life doesn't happen to us. Yeah. We get to choose how we react to life and how we want it to be, and we need to influence it for a positive, right. for ourselves exactly. and for each other. And to me, that's the difference is the people in the Circles program are amazing to watch because they have decided and made the commitment, I'm going to change my own life. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I feel honored to be a part of that because there's nothing better than seeing that. It's like watching little kids who the light bulb goes off. I know what something. I'm doing now. Right. right. Mm -hmm. exactly. exactly. It's, it's amazing. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that motivation <laughs> being a big aspect, you know, at first, I mentioned that's a big step for a lot of people, yeah, though. It's, um, it's huge. Lifestyles are hard to change. Mm -hmm. Right. And another thing that's different with circles, and we need people to understand, is we take people who are in a fairly, if they have had drug addiction, mm -hmm. they've, used, they've been sober six months. If they've had mental health issues, they're, they've, they've got their medication. So they've started stable. some sort they've of steps. They've started some mm -hmm. sort of steps towards self-sufficiency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's important to know Circles is not a crisis program. If you're mm -hmm. in crisis, Circles is not no, the program for you. Not. You have to be past the crisis point, okay. somewhat stable, but struggling to get your to life get better. Mm -hmm. life right. And what's amazing is we see people struggling with all kinds of different things. Some yeah. of them are relationships, some of them are money, some of them are history of whatever it is. Yeah. But most of them, it is an internal struggle of, do I really believe that my life can be different? Yes. Mm -hmm. So trying to see a future they don't right. know about exactly. in many right. cases. Exactly. Right. What it could be like in the future. Yes. So a lot of people who are watching wonder, well, how do you select participants? You know, it's a program, as you said, that you have some requirements, obviously. Right. You know, how do people become involved with this program? On the circle leader part, the people who mm -hmm. want to change their own lives, mm -hmm. there's actually an application process. And so we have a lot of community partners, various agencies. Mm -hmm. Anybody can refer somebody to circles. Okay. If you have somebody you think is at that point in their life where they benefit from circles, mm -hmm. have them give us a call, have them call Teddy at the United Way, mm -hmm. have them go on our Facebook or our web page. Um, but because they want to be in circles doesn't mean they'll get in circles. Right. So that's something limited availability, right. basically. Right. Right. Absolutely. We, we have not only a limited amount of space and numbers that we can accommodate right now, but we have a fairly rigid criteria mm -hmm. is we want those people who are ready and willing to commit because right. you're talking a two year commitment. You're talking yeah. not just come exactly. to our six week right. lesson and you'll be successful. Exactly. Right. 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 And so we, um, we have to tell people that we don't feel like they're ready or so that it wouldn't be a good fit. Interview yeah. process, we meet do. the people face to face? Yeah, we have a written application um, that gets screened mm -hmm. by the committee and then we have an application where there will be at least two people, it's usually Teddy and a yeah. board member, um, who will interview and then we come back together and we have a conference about who we think would be good mm -hmm. and not only a good fit for the program but also a good fit for this class mm -hmm. because right. part of what it is, it's 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 a community group that has to come together and bond and be able to share and yes. reveal those insecurities and things. So their peers are in right. the yes. class sharing with them. Right. That's yeah. their bonding social capital as right. a whole mm -hmm. group and then and they and they have a whole new set of, of friends. Right. Mm -hmm. You right. know that are their peers. So that's really cool then they have the bridging social capital which is that next level up like with uh, you know people in the business community and, Talking and to the different, different resources mm -hmm. and professionals, and they do that, and it's uh, so the whole thing is very well rounded. It is so it's, it's all uh, definite plan put in place. Now, do absolutely. you have certain times? I mean, you mentioned classes. Is it like mm -hmm. every fall, every spring? We start a new class. People might be wondering, well, when can you try to join this program? Every Thursday, 
at night yeah. forever is okay. circles. Okay, it'll be one phase or another. And so if you have any interest in circles, don't worry about when the classes start. Don't worry about anything else. Come and see what circles about on a Thursday night. Mm -hmm. The classes, we typically try and have two classes a year, mm -hmm. okay? And we just finished one, so we just graduated our third circles class. And the next one, we're going to start, I think it's March. I think March, April, somewhere yeah. in late spring, probably, okay. by the time. But now, I know you have some pictures, and while we're talking about the classes and the graduation, we can perhaps call up some of the pictures and kind of describe, uh, you know, the concept of graduation when you finish the program. Mm -hmm. You're being recognized for your successfully completing this program that yes. you're looking at. And, Absolutely. Uh, some of the pictures that we can describe what we're seeing and here's someone working with a youngster tell me mm -hmm. what might be happening here let me jump in not necessarily about what's happening there okay. but about the children's curriculum because we haven't mm -hmm. talked about that right circles is really focused on adults who are changing yes. their lives okay but we have uh, obviously access to their children because mm -hmm. every Thursday there is a community meal we think it's important to break bread together yes. and to have a community where we get to to visit you're I sharing mean, over a meal most yes. of us grew up around the the kitchen table or the dining room table, and that's where we bond. We still do that at circles, yeah. okay? Um, and so this, the, the kids are welcome also. And then as the circle leaders are going to the classes or they're working with their allies, the children are there in daycare that we provide. Right. Well, we don't want to waste that valuable time with youngsters who can also be benefiting from the program. And so there's a national children's curriculum that's been developed mm -hmm. so that the children can also learn these life skills. Okay. So the whole family becomes involved. Absolutely. Exactly. And we don't want to just stop it with these people. We want to stop it for generations to mm -hmm. come. Mm -hmm. And so while they're learning about how to make better decisions, their children are also learning about the same thing. Okay. And um, Terry, Walker Terry Walker has been mm -hmm. incredible. She's on the national committee to mm -hmm. help improve that curriculum. And Joplin is one of the pilot programs for this yes. new and improved curriculum. And mm -hmm. so there's a huge shout out to Terry Walker, who's also oh, absolutely. Uh, just a phenomenal. Board she's a board member. And yeah. a, just oh. So you encourage people to bring your children along. Oh, bring their absolutely. Yes, the we yes. definitely want right. the kids there because mm -hmm. this like it's four weeks of compassion. Then we had mindfulness. So these mm -hmm. are very uh, integrity, finances, Some basic all the lessons. basic lessons. And they're practicing them. They told me the other day, I think it was Terry was saying that now they're seeing them come back in and using and re referring back to the skills that they learn and telling them how they use it at school or different things like that. So we want this to be a cycle breaker. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what we are trying to do. Right. They say in Circles USA that if you can alleviate 10% of the poverty in your community, that that creates that tipping point. And that's a scientific term. Mm -hmm. Right that once that once you break that 10 percent barrier things just start rolling people start standing up and taking notice wow this is working mm -hmm. we need to do more of it then everybody gets behind it so that's kind of the circle's philosophy we hear a lot about mm -hmm. that cycle that, of poverty that exactly you talked about and that we are trying to break that cycle break of that poverty. cycle and so the uh the, mentioned the graduation uh, if people complete this program then you recognize them do they they do this uh, is circle leaders we've got a, a great story about that i i'm sure he won't mind sharing um mm -hmm. we had this last class the third class we had a, a man who was selected among his class his mm -hmm. peers to stand up and speak on behalf of his class about what circles meant to him. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that he said that was moving to me was he said, all right, who here has um, been to a graduation from something before? And everybody pretty raise much raised hand, their right. hand. And he said, well, for me, this is the first time. Mm -hmm. And he said, this is the first time I've ever completed any program in my life. And he was 30. So mm -hmm. high school, Some anything like that? Right, never, nothing. Mm -hmm. And his family was there seeing this. Okay, and you should just see the pride in him. And to me, um, the key word in that for him was first. First. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is not the last thing he's going right. to complete. We know that. Mm -hmm. And I don't have any doubt on um, these circle leaders who have completed the program, they get a certificate and they go home and they hang it in their wall. I've been to their house mm -hmm. on two of them at least. Mm -hmm. And it's there <coughs> in a position of pride because it means something to them. This was right. their first step on their journey. All right. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that's amazing to me is uh, out of the first class, we've got one fella who we're inviting to be on our board. Oh. Okay. So he's going to become involved in your operations. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and our firm belief is that the circle leaders who are completing the courses now will be some of the leaders in Joplin in the future. Yeah. Right. So continue to give back yeah. to their oh, community absolutely. along those lines. Right. And so forth. Yeah. You mentioned you're tied to the United Way. So do you work with other United Way agencies? Or you know, there's a lot of social service organizations in town. You know, you as far as letting them know about resources, letting them oh, know, you know what's in the community. And a lot of those people are volunteers. 
mm -hmm. as well at Circles. Okay. And we'll, we are trying to build a services team. I mean, we, we want them to use resources appropriately. Mm -hmm. And that's how, that's what we're teaching them to do is resources appropriately when you need them. Because there's this huge thing called the cliff effect, which, which is a big part of Circles, is that when you are, a, say, a single mom on, on uh, maybe with a minimum wage job, right. you're eligible for a lot of different things All to, the government help programs to help you get by. Mm -hmm. And what happens is they end up with a kind of a high earning, you know, uh, because of all these capacity, basically. Mm -hmm. So when they start getting promoted in their work, once they reach a certain thing, those government supports are just bam cut off, You've and we call move it the that level, effect. right? Mm -hmm. Because who is going to take? You know, you're at twelve twenty-five. Who's going to take twelve fifty if you're going to lose your child care or mm -hmm. your insurance or things like that? So that's what we're trying to work with, and that's a long-term goal. Right. So what we do is have the big view, which we're teaching them to be advocates and have a voice for themselves, because there's got to be systemic changes along with the changes we make in a community. Mm -hmm. and, and let me stop there and tell you what the big view is, because one Thursday a month we have devoted to impacting the community. These are for the leaders who've completed mm -hmm. the uh, initial training. Right, the first okay. six. I right, and what they have... Uh, decided to do is not only improve their own lives, but also the lives of other people mm -hmm. in their community. And so the cliff effect is one of the things that we've decided to tackle. Uh, transportation mm -hmm. here in Joplin is another thing we've decided to tackle. Mm -hmm. right. And what it is, is it's allies and circle leaders and community members coming together in what we call the Big View meeting. And we see problems in our community that we think we can change. Mm -hmm. Let's get together, let's talk about how to do that. A little baby steps at a time. We're not going to be able to change mm -hmm. the federal uh, no. the the government about how that's going to happen. Today. Right. But <laughs> we can change some pieces of that cliff effect. Mm -hmm. And we can mm -hmm. help people survive the cliff. Mm -hmm. okay? okay, we can help them to find ways to cope until they can get past that little bump in the road where right. their income and their daycare and all that kind of stuff levels out. And so, not only are people coming through the program and working with others in the program, but they're also working to change the community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And one example of that is we had a circle leader who takes the trolley right. over by 32nd in Connecticut, and she was talking about how traffic there never slows down or stops for. Uh, pedestrians and she felt it was dangerous. I said, well, okay, how would you like to address that? She's like, well, I, I can't do anything about that. So I said, no, hold on a second. Really? Can you not? And she on her own made contact with the city, visited with the appropriate people, and mm -hmm. now there's a sign there that warns cars that this is a place where pedestrians cross. Right. cross. And it's not a huge change, but she may have saved somebody's life. She has mm -hmm. made that intersection safer yeah, for herself and has. her family. Uh -huh. And it's that kind of baby step that we know incrementally will change the world mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now she knows that her voice matters and everybody else in the circles program knows that collectively their voice matters and so community involvement becomes a big part exactly. of many people Absolutely. that you know there are government agencies there are state mm -hmm. different levels where you can have a say people will listen to you and one of Missouri Southern's empl uh, employees mm -hmm. is uh, faculty members is Renee White and she's right. the one that leads the the big view, Dr. Renee White, who's heading up the new social work program. Mm -hmm. So, and she's amazing. So she's amazing. We really appreciate her. She's busy too, and we appreciate her taking her time, giving once her time, a month and helping and you out. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, I know that there's probably on the leader side, there's never a shortage of people wanting to get involved. What about on the other side, the allies? Or do you, are you always looking to recruit new people? We are, and not only because of the numbers that we can always use more volunteers because mm -hmm. the more hands, obviously, the lighter the work, but also because we want more perspectives. Mm -hmm. uh, and yes. I tell a lot of mm -hmm. people that I would not be a very good ally for Teddy. Okay, my strengths and her strengths probably don't line up and, and we wouldn't be a good fit for one another, but you and Teddy may, mm -hmm. for example. And so even yeah. if we have plenty of people, we don't always have the right mix. Yeah. So you gotta look mm -hmm. at their backgrounds, right. what they can bring to the program. Right. And it's not where most of the people in circles need an attorney or mm -hmm. they don't need mm -hmm. a social worker, they don't need a nurse or anything mm -hmm. like that. What they need is somebody who's relatively level-headed, okay? <laughs> yes. And we don't want people who are perfect. I am not perfect. I have made more mistakes than probably mm -hmm. anybody in the circles program, yes. Um, <laughs> but that's part of the beauty of it is because I have figured out some things that don't work. Yes. So you could share that with others. What right. doesn't work as well as what does. And so mm -hmm. we're all the time looking for allies who will come and devote some time. And if you want to be paired with a circle leader, we ask that you give a minimum commitment. Um, usually it's six months. We like to have you go through the 18 months, but mm -hmm. at least six mm -hmm. months. But we also have some people. Um, we have a great fellow by the name of Robert McKenzie yeah. from Leggett mm -hmm. and Platt. And um, he's 
Oh, he's he's just phenomenal. Amazing. He teaches leadership for Leggett and management mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and he can't be there every week, right. but he's what we call an ad hoc ally, mm -hmm. which means when he can, he comes. And yeah. so he will come and he'll help facilitate or he'll work with people on budgets or leadership or smart goals. And those kinds of commitments are just as important because mm -hmm. if you could come once or twice a year, we'll take it. That type okay. of service and That's helping right. out others. That's right. the greatest thing about Circles is there are volunteer opportunities no matter what your time commitment is. Mm -hmm. If you right. have a lot of time, great. But if you got a little time, We'll take Use that too, well. and and that's a neat one of the best things about it that I really really like. But now, how can people get in touch with you? While we're talking, yeah. I think they can probably put up the website. So, you're, okay. you, if someone's watching, they want to find out what they can do. They can contact you. Well, the easiest way is to contact the United Way and ask for Teddy Steen. Mm -hmm. Okay, Teddy is there. She's our full time director, and that is probably the easiest way. We have a website too. Um, we have so many people now who can access it on their smartphones. The website is probably the easiest. It's circlesjoplin.org. Right. Okay. We have a Facebook presence that's also very active. You can contact me. You can contact mm -hmm. pretty much anybody in the community who's heard of Circles. We'll get you there. Yeah. Okay. Right. But let me warn people who contact, okay? Once you come, you won't want to leave. Yeah. Uh, I came to one meeting and I got, <laughs> I got asked to be involved. I'm like, that doesn't sound like anything I'd be interested in. I don't have the time. I'm already involved in enough. And now if I'm in town and I'm not in trial, mm -hmm. I will be there. I will not miss you a circus You mark it on your meeting. calendar. Absolutely, be there. yes. Mm -hmm. um, for life, you already for said life. That. For life, I'm telling you, I'm there. I'm there. there for life. Yeah. So do you have set locations for meetings so people know that they're gonna have? St. Paul's, Saint Paul's mm -hmm. has been wonderful. They let us use their facility. So at St. Paul's, Church mm -hmm. 24, right 23, now. West 26. Okay. West side of Joplin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. and it's every Thursday night except holidays mm -hmm. from 6 to 8. Anybody's right. welcome. Come join us for dinner. That, like Scott said earlier, that is the very right. best way to see what we do. It's kind of complicated to understand, to, to, to describe, just, it, but describe it all, mm -hmm. but when you watch it mm -hmm. work, it, we, the dinner is amazing mm -hmm. because everybody, it's just, it's very cool. It's a community of people that are all friends now. So we're friends and family. To and one I'm a another. skeptic. I tell you, mm -hmm. I heard about it. I went to the meetings. I talked to the Circles USA folks. And I'm like, you know, it just doesn't. It is amazing. It really, it truly is, is it's amazing. amazing. <laughs> so, future goals, Teddy, what would you like to accomplish with this program? I would like to see us reach that 10 percent, and it's mm -hmm. not going to happen overnight. Right. Mm -hmm. But I want to continue. I think we've talked about, like I said, with. We like to have a bunch of people so we get that mm -hmm. knowledge. Mm -hmm. Scott, Robert, we've been working on what do we want to do? Well, we want we want to work with the Workforce Investment Board now to make this a real program with some with some direct goals that they work hard and when they go out in the community, they take the Therese Circles graduate and so that it all means ties something. together yeah. throughout all mm -hmm. ties right. together. Great. Yes. Great. I know that we've covered quite a bit in the time we've had here. If people have questions, they can go on, like we said, Absolutely. online or just call the United Way. Your house at the United Way, way. so <laughs> so they can uh, call you at your office yeah, over there. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. Any time. You don't Anytime. have to wait till please, January, just, February. Right? And come right. and see. Mm -hmm. Come and see. That's the, the other thing I want to throw out there is we will take donations too. It okay. costs something. The mm -hmm. United Way has yes. been wonderful to us. We have great sponsors and donations throughout the community. But even if you can't donate your time and you can't be an ally or you're not a circle leader, feel free to donate. We're on the United Way pledge form. Yes. Okay. Um, or you can donate just specifically to circles. And the other thing is if you want to come, you can donate your time to help provide a meal, mm -hmm. help with mm -hmm. daycare, right. something like that. A lot yeah. of ways it can yeah. help. Always, yes. Right. Well, Teddy and Scott, I'd like to thank you very much for being here today. For well, thank, you. thank you. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. And I'd like to thank you for tuning in this week for Newsmakers. I'm Judy Stiles. I'll see you again next week at this time. I'll see you then.